Love me cancerously Like a salt sore soaked in the sea High maintenance means you're a gluttonous queen Narcissistic and mean What's happening people on YouTube? This is Loudon Styles and I'm here with a new segment I like with a new segment of Loudon's World. Now on this topic of Loudon's World I am going to be talking about soccer moms. Now there are two different definitions of a soccer mom. The soccer mom which basically is the the mo mother who takes her kids to soccer and drives a minivan and basically craps out the ref when her son gets fouled or whatever. You know, just basically ruins, takes everything so goddamn seriously in a, in a peewee soccer game, those type of mothers. Then there's the mothers who protect their kids even though their kids are in the wrong. Protect their kids, talk about how the media is horrible. And basically just try to censor everything from music to television because their little kids saw it and they think it's filth when in retrospect they should teach their kids not to teach their kids the diff difference between right and wrong in the very first place or they can block the fucking channels. You know, simple shit like that that they seem to be missing, you know? And there's so many stories about how a, a, a soccer mom has tried to ban certain R-rated movies or some shit like that because they saw their kid watch it and they think it's going to damage their little minds. When they don't realize is that their kid's mind was already fucking damaged when he got bullied around in school or some crazy crap like that. Alright, I kind of messed up in that one. So allow me to re-explain that. A soccer mom will take her, will take away R-rated movies or anything that is violent away from their kids because they think it's going to damage their little minds. When in all honesty, the kid has already seen violence on television before. He's seen violence in video games and all that other stuff. So the kid's mind already knows this. So it's kind of stupid to try to take away already movie because you think it's going to damage the kid's mind when in retrospect he's already seen this shit before we now return you to our regular Loudon's World segment I mean it leads to so many things and it's all to bad parenting it is it, it's bad parenting on their on their part it, it's the obvious shit that it is bad parenting because while your kid is shooting up his school and killing every person in that school, you're probably at your job talking about how great your kid is, how much of a little angel he is, until you see the 4 o'clock news and find, oh, little Jimmy done shot up his damn school, killed everybody in there. Then you're then you're sitting there wondering why. Why would he do this? Why is he like this? I, I didn't know. How could you not fucking know that your kid was on the verge of a homicidal rampage this is what gets me at the columbine incident how the fuck did nobody know that these two kids were gonna go on a homicidal rampage when they had shit on their little chat rooms ab about how to make pipe bombs and had videos of them with guns and shit and caught themselves the trench coat mop. How the fuck did these parents did not know that their kids were going to kill everybody in that school? That's what I want to know. How the fuck did Chong Song Wee's parents did not know that he was pissed off at the world, pissed off at rich people and everybody that was messing with him? How the fuck did they not know that? That is bullshit. Okay, you don't, you can't blame video games, you can't blame television, you blame the fucking parents, because it's their fault, in one way or another, for not knowing what's wrong with their kids. And why is that? Because they don't fucking listen to their kids. Let me tell you right now, when somebody is bullying you, in your school, you cannot just ignore it. 
I've learned that firsthand. Ignoring them doesn't do a fucking thing. You can ignore them, stay away from them all they want, but see, there are some that just want to do it just to fuck with you. And they will keep on and on and on. It doesn't matter if you ignore them or not. They will do something, and then it's going to lead to violence if you ignore them. What then? I mean, God, it's so ridiculous that mature rated video games are take most are sometimes are taken off the shelves or boycotted because parents because they because parent because parents got bought these for their kids and they talk about how bad the game is like when Mass Effect came out. When Mass Effect came out, everybody was talking about how horrible the game is because it had a sex scene. For like two fucking seconds. Everybody was bitching about Grand Theft Auto and how you got to kill hookers and all this other type of shit. Even though it's like, it's on there on the mature rated. It's on there. There's a label on the fucking box that marks mature. And on the back, it has everything about it that is mature. How the fuck do you not see that? No, you do see it, but you're too goddamn blinded by your own fucking stupidity and ignorance not to see it. You just want to stop your kid from yelling and throwing a fucking tantrum in the middle of the store that you'll do anything to buy what he does, just to buy some shit, just to shut him the fuck up. When actually, you just need to slap the hell out of him, tell him to shut the fuck up, and tell him to be quiet while you're in the store. And you can see it. You go to a store, a little four-year-old's throwing a tantrum, talking about how he wants this and how he wants that. And the mom is not doing a fucking thing. She's telling him to be quiet. He's not going to be quiet. Sometimes you just can't tell him to be quiet. And she just lets it happen. That is the soccer mom. And best you believe that she'll, you know, buy him something that's not that he's not supposed to see at his age or hasn't been explained it hasn't been explained yet then she's gonna throw a bitch fit and starts taking it out on everybody else except herself because she's the one that bought that shit for him and then they talk about how and then they will complain about the problems in the world they will complain about everything else like, and here's the other stupid shit. If something happens to a kid besides theirs, they will act like they will act like their kid is the saint and everybody else is just a horrible person. Like, I will tell you how many fucking times I've been around a bunch of parents and when they start talking about the Virginia Tech incident or they talk about anything that is a school shooting, they will start blaming the media. They'll start blaming the music. They'll start blaming all this other shit. And they'll start blaming, you know, all types of things when they should, bl when there's the only thing to blame is the parents. And then they'll say that their kid is the greatest thing in the world. They're a saint. Like, like, oh, well, you know, Timmy, he's, he's an honor roll. He's so great. He's just so awesome. You know, he's, he's doing so well. I love my little angel. When, you know, when you don't realize that your little angel flunked out of honor rolls and now he is a skinhead beating up black people. Yeah. Or your kids like trying to imitate the trench coat mafia and start wearing trench coats to school with fake guns scaring people. Or selling drugs. Or anything like that. Why? Because you don't pay attention to your own kids. Well. This. Has been my little topic on soccer moms. Probably not my best. Probably is my best. You be the judge. Leave your comment down in the box. And tell me what you think. This has been Loud and Styles. I'm over. I'm out and I'm gone.